the uh, tattoo is on her uh, left breast, so you definitely were like zooming in on that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. You Drive by movies, you're watching fresh releases. My name is Blaze, and I'm James. And this week we're doing something a little bit different, guys. We're running out of films to watch, you know, on the horizon. There's not as many movies releasing out. We do have the next couple weeks lined up, but I did want to try something a little bit new. There was a game that came out, you know, I think it was about, uh, you know, less than six months ago, but it did recently get released on more platforms. Uh, it is called Telling Lies. It is kind of like a movie, so I felt like, hey, let's try something different. It's a, you know, movie like game. It's one of those FMB like full motion video games that used to come out in the 90s, but it's you know it's a modern version of this. There's real actors in it, and uh, I wanted to try something different. Talk about something that wasn't as you know to the point. Narratively, it's a little bit different. It's different of like how you play it. So I wanted to try that out and uh, kind of you know have a conversation about how we you know felt about the game how we experienced the story ourselves so just i guess we can kick it off basically it's this story about this fbi agent who is kind of has you know leads a couple different lives and you're watching as an nsa operative or as someone who has access to nsa surveillance and you're you know looking through his file along with the other people that are connected to him and his life and trying to piece together what this you know full story is so you can watch you know the last clip first which is would be the end of it or you could watch you know it beginning to the end it all determines though where what you search like what you use your search terms as so essentially you're manning this computer and you basically type in you know love and like five different movies will come i think the game starts off with love already in the search bar if i remember correctly i've only ever been in love once uh, it was with a girl i met when i was 18 but i was too young and naive to handle it properly I guess I still carry a torch for it, which makes me an incurable romantic or underdeveloped emotionally. The only negative thing I really have to say about this game is it's not clear what you're supposed to do. I was just kind of thrown into this. This is what you wanted to do this week. And I do say, like, this is definitely like you're watching, like, a five-hour movie, essentially. It's weird piecing it together. It, I wouldn't say it's like a choose-your-own-adventure. It's literally like you're just solving a case, and you're just... you're. It feels more like a puzzle. You're given all the pieces. However you solve it, go for it. You can do it beginning to end, or but most likely that's not going to happen, but... Uh, eventually I was able to catch on on what to do though and uh, once you do like it is actually really fun if I had a pick for anyone I played it on Xbox one but I'd recommend playing it on a PC or Mac if you have or if you can buy it that way like definitely do it. it's definitely worth the $20 right away I'm gonna say um, mm -hmm. but yeah uh, it's directed by Sam Barlow and it stars Logan Marshall Green a lot of people might recognize him from uh, Upgrade one of the best movies of the past couple of years I'd say or most fun movies I'd say at least, and he's also been in Prometheus and The Invitation. Fantastic actor, and yeah, I mean, I, I, I love this story. It's weird seeing a narrative done this way because you're technically just watching videos through FaceTime or Skype calls, essentially. Uh, so it's a bizarre way to tell a story, but it works 100%, I'd say. Yeah, I, th I really found it to be interesting. Like, this director, Sam Barley, he hasn't done any, like, shorts or, you know, films to my knowledge he's mainly a video game director he's worked on you know i think series like silent hill before uh also did a game you know before this called her story that did acquire a lot of accolades this is kind of that follow-up version of uh <clears throat> her story but some people even you know called this game his story essentially <laughs> because it was it was a different version of that same kind of game they, this, this thematically and story wise I don't feel like they're that similar uh, I know that one's also available I do recommend her story as well that's available on pretty much any app store you can purchase that game and also telling lies so if you guys are interested in you know playing these games maybe pause it right here if you don't want any spoilers we will get into that so I definitely recommend you guys playing them first before you you know check out our kind of spoiler section but just because I feel like I wouldn't want this game spoiled for me 
right yeah before it before i played it but interestingly enough i think you had you know you'd mentioned that you kind of basically saw it you know end to then eventually f- figuring out what the beginning right the yeah so uh there's three different endings you get to choose from and of course we're gonna have to get into spoiler territory to territory but i definitely recommend yeah buying the game if you haven't but now i guess we might as well just talk about what endings we got and how we got there but I was like uh, tripped out. Um, uh, I forgot what I was searching, but I remember though I was like really like confused. Like th- this feels obvious. I felt like the cam girl had the tattoo showing on purpose. I was like, what does that say? I was like Max, and so I searched Max, and that led to the <laughs> literal final video. Of yeah, like, I did. Yeah, <laughs> I knew. Uh, I mean, let's just be obvious that the f- the uh, tattoo is on her uh, left breast so you definitely were like zooming in on that like <laughs> <laughs> i don't know about that <laughs> no, <I'm> just, you, <laughs> and then you, and then you search that term but, but i did search max it took me a while to realize it wasn't until you told me that there were hyper you can click on each subtitle and that can search mm-hmm. that way so i was searching yeah. literally by hand for every single thing but eventually yeah. though, i like looked in and i was like i feel like this is obvious that they're like focusing on that tattoo so i searched max and yeah. uh the there was like five different clips that came up for max of course and they're all like spoiler <laughs> they were all spoiler ones because <laughs> uh, and the last one its last one is uh logan marshall green's character his name's david uh he goes out on the boat and he says something very simple to max is just like going on that mile run now max something like that and then like i'm just like what is happening what is he doing and like i was like that looks like a bomb and then the boat explodes like oh fuck like that's definitely the end of the <laughs> I, game right there i probably saw that after seeing about 75 percent of the rest of the clips but i fi- found that hilarious after i finally saw that scene i'm like oh that's how you knew it was the end yeah. like i thought you might have been talking about you know another scene that you thought was the end but no literally a bomb explodes <laughs> in the scene and that's the last timestamp. all the clips are timestamps, so that's the <laughs> last like timestamp. so and i I'd found say, that hilarious when you told me i'd say i was probably 20 to 30 percent into the game at that point too like i was in the very early stages i'd say i solved that before the second or third hour kicked in for sure mm-hmm. yeah yeah uh, so the way that i kind of went about it was searching you know first off you start off with love i think i, I probably searched like just shit like but maybe they're i think i maybe went to their names i started first seeing you know the story of uh, David is our main protagonist and he has like this relationship with his wife and his daughter uh, it's pretty distant and then you start seeing this other character who seems like his girlfriend and I was like wait is this like his girlfriend before he was married but you start looking at timestamps and you realize that they're coinciding and a lot of these calls back to his real family you know are coinciding with them and his new girlfriend and then yeah. i saw some surveillance footage of him basically surveilling this girl calling her snow white before even you know meeting her and basically was like put like inserting himself into her life you know creates a relationship with this girl she's a protester uh you know protesting this pipeline that they're gonna put and like basically started drilling in it's just it's just not good it's all like environmental it really reminded me of the film night moves yeah like that's I'd, exactly what i was thinking too because uh, that was like a pretty cool thriller that we saw a couple years back and i mean of course like them both having to do with pipelines is a big part of it and a bomb too but yeah mm-hmm. and you see you know these aspects of this main character he's kind of a narcissist uh, but you see like how he is getting involved with this with his girlfriend who he's an FBI agent so he's like kind of part of his job but then at the same time he is getting romantically involved with her while also having his family like he is kind of a piece of shit like this character right yeah and, he's leading three different like he's living up to the title of the game telling lies like yeah or, I mean I guess he's mainly yeah he's keeping the truth hidden from everyone but he is telling lies to all three of these women at first, right. I thought that the cam girl was just the first half of the story, and then Ava was going to be the second half of the story. But, um, like, eventually, when I realized that Ava was definitely more the bigger part of the story, like, I was caught off guard when, like, you know, he ends up uh, impregnating her. I'm just like, damn, he's undercover and he's going to have to live this second <laughs> life and shit. Yeah. Dude, yeah, it was just like, oh, man, this dude just beat his trip. And I felt like, I was just like, what's going on? Especially, like, the way that you experience this narrative because it is it's not that wild like it's not that crazy of a narrative i felt like it Mm -hmm. is interesting because you see all these like 
deep like deep parts that you probably wouldn't normally see especially surface level if it was a movie it would be kind of weird with all the flashbacks i feel like right yeah i guess it, it depends like the way we did watch it was a movie is five hours technically but it's just in a scrambled mixed up order and i think honestly there are probably are parts that you saw that i didn't see and there are probably are scenes that i saw that you didn't see you know whether i found all the clips in the game mm-hmm. or not i'm not positive if i started the clip at the right you know, timestamp because sometimes the clips would start halfway through the right, video. Yeah, it depends on what you, uh, what word you're searching. That's my only negative thing. Also, I'd say about the game is uh, just like sometimes, like I wanted to rewind to see further, like how the conversation got to that point, and the rewind mm-hmm. button's way too slow. I'd say. Um, yeah. Having the subtitles is a big help, though. Sometimes I'd fast forward through a scene and I'd be able to see the subtitles yeah. and see, like I'd get the gist of the conversation. Um, but yeah. yeah, it's a lot of fun information. Ending wise, I got the ending involving the cam girl because that's what I was like mesmerized on the first half of playing. <laughs> and then I started to focus more on Ava's story. But uh, yeah, I guess I spent too much time on the cam girl. So that's why I got her ending. Um, yeah, but I th- think I was just forced into getting the Ava. Yeah. Uh, her basically ending. But also, I think that was the. I feel like every story, like part of the story, had its merits, but I thought that was the mo- most interesting part yeah. of the story. I'd say Ava's story is the most because that's you know that's where he's like kind of falling deep into his uh, way too deep into his uh, undercover. You know, he's an FBI agent. And he's like, like uh, I don't know what the term would be, but just like he's falling way too deep into his work and stuff, and it's changing yeah. his morality too, and. Uh, I'd say the most boring part, though, is his actual wife and stuff. There was some stuff I was confused on, and I'm not sure if you watched some of his clips, but um, I did watch her ending and stuff, and uh, just, like, for fun on YouTube. You can see all three endings if you're curious, and if you don't want to replay the game three different times. It got three different endings, but, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, especially, like, you're like, oh, should I watch this to, like, stick on this to get that ending? It's probably best to just go to YouTube, honestly. Yeah. Dude, you should see my notes on my phone. It was just a nightmare. Yeah. Because I like I started like something and then I like just wrote like the first sentence and then like I just watched another clip and yeah. then I like went and searched another term and I just it was a bit too much. I f- honestly felt like some type of like FBI agent playing this game. And if anything, I felt like the thing we should really be look at is like how narratively it's like a subjective narrative in a way. Like mm-hmm. I might have got something different. I think the fact that the endings are conclusive helps but if the endings were subjective or if the endings changed that could have been a totally different experience i'm glad that the endings were you know set in stone Mm -hmm. i'm glad that i can only take you know how i got to the end not that i could have like altered the ending in a way right i feel like that might have been almost too much like just it was already a lot like you know the whole experience just getting through it was like so much is going on where i felt like a freaking detective you know (laughs) right yeah and no matter what like it is cool though like it's still the same story and it's still essentially the same ending uh you just might get you just might see a different ending and it just depends what you uh focus on so no matter what at the end of the day if it's frustrating just know that like you are still technically getting the same ending and stuff as everyone else like even though we both saw different endings it's still the same resolution that happened with you know david uh, committing this suicide bomb attack essentially on the pipeline um, yeah and that's like to kind of clear his name but I still at the end at the end I just feel like it's like his character is just like kind of a piece of shit mm-hmm. like he just does that to clear his name but like dude he kind of just committed a domestic act of terrorism yeah I don't know it's like ugh. but I, I did really enjoy like playing and I enjoyed the experience of it. I'm not going to play it again, I don't think, but mm-hmm. I thought that it was really cool. Like coming from, you know, we watch a lot of uh, movies on this show and we watch, you know, like a ton of movies, right. but we never really talk about games in the same. We don't have the same discourse around them as you do films, I feel like. So it's fun to just switch it up, you know, watch something that, you know, kind of blurs the lines between games and movies. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's definitely still feels more like a movie to me. Um, it doesn't really feel like a game whatsoever. Um, I mean, it, it is a game, technically. That might throw some people off from our casual viewers who mainly watch us to talk about movies, essentially. But I do feel like overall, I essentially just watched a movie. It's just a weird interactive movie. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's an interesting thriller. 
Um, I mean, it, depending on what kind of movies you like, like, of course, like if you're an action movie buff and you love playing action video games, this game might not be for you. But like my favorite genre of movies is always like murder mystery thriller kind of stuff. And well, it's not a murder mystery. I mean, there's some deaths involved, but it's definitely a thriller. You don't know what's going to happen. Like you're mesmerized. Well, I knew what was going to happen, but it kind of felt like that Hitchcock effect where I know it's going to happen, but how do I get there? It's intense trying to figure out how it got to that point. So definitely recommend. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely have to recommend this, guys. Like if you enjoyed kind of our conversation here, I think the best way is to just play the game yourself. And especially if you like movies and you're like, eh, I don't really play games. I feel like this would be a lot of fun, like trying to, you know, play one of these interactive movies, essentially, like you said. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's available pretty much everywhere. I know it's on Steam. It's uh, literally on the App Store. You could get it on your phone. Also, I recommend Her Story. Bo they're both available everywhere. So I, I recommend checking this guy this out, guys. Uh, it was, you know, I thought it was a lot of fun. It was very interesting and cool to look at something that I feel like is almost cutting edge. Like, it's we, have our, we don't really experience movies like this and seeing, you know, a movie in a different light right. and, a, and experiencing it in a sort that type of storytelling in a different way was very interesting so yeah this is just such a fun time it's definitely like it was weird like being recommended to do this for fresh releases but uh, i had such a fun time uh there is an amazon affiliate link to really help us out but uh best way to help us out just keep smashing that like button leave us a comment let us know what you thought about the game what other movies we should be checking out essentially um yeah do that that'll help us out and definitely, if you haven't already, guys, hit the subscription button, click that notification bell, and stay updated for all new videos. Drive-By Movies concluding this week's episode of Fresh Releases. Uh, tune in next week for another new video.